Hello, my name is Bo Brown and I'm here to talk about identifying birds' eggs. There are no really hard and fast rules about identifying birds' eggs. Uh, it's best to get a field guide. Peterson makes a very good uh, field guide called Field Guide to Birds and Their Nests. Uh, in general, if it's blue and unmarked, it will be a thrush family or bluebirds. Sparrow eggs are generally kind of small and marked, spotted usually. Um, like I said, there's no hard and fast rules and it's a very long and difficult study. The study of bird's eggs is called oology, spelled O-O-L-O-G-Y, uh, which brings us to the subject of being around the bird's nests. Any activity around the nest during the incubation period can cause abandonment of the nest and should be avoided unless, uh, unless needed to be. Uh, nest boxes are a little better where you can get in and look at the, the nest, but it's still better to wait until after the, the birds are hatched and there's a lot less likelihood of the bird, uh, uh, adult birds abandoning the nest. Another thing that comes up uh, occasionally around bird nests is you'll find nestlings on the ground that have, appear to have fallen out of the nest or, uh, or have escaped the nest or one thing or another. It's best to just leave them alone or put them in a safe area. The parents will come back to them. You don't have to worry about the, your smell being on them. Birds don't have a sense of smell. But just put them in an area where the cats or pets can't get to them and the parents will come back and feed them till uh, they are able to fly. That's just a natural part of their biology. They leave, they leave the nest a few days before they're actually ready to fly.